Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm working with polymer clay today. I actually was inspired to, well, this guy has been sitting here waiting for me. Oh, I fussy cut some things out of the um, Graphic 45. Anywho, I don't think I'm going to do this one today. We're going to put that aside. I've been really debating you know you can put polymer clay on a lot of different things these are just mirrors like kind of a compact situation sort of kind of and this is just real simple a sheet of black clay and I just put glued it to the other side of a mirror and added a few gems and some uh, mica powders this one was based on a class that I took with Christine, no, 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 wait, I'm sorry. Chris, yes, her name is Chris. It'll come to me. Mandarin Moon is her um, Etsy store and Chris Capono. She was one of the teachers at Polymer Clay Adventure, and this was a kind of a theme that she works with a lot under the sea. And a lot of these techniques, um, I did take a class. Uh, the the, the Ning site doesn't exist anymore, but it was all things clay or something, I forget. But I did do an Altoid tin in the similar style. I just had a fishy and a shell. And I did, I put a couple mirrors in there. And this gem, and you know what, you use glossy accents on the seaweed, or the sea grasses, and it makes it look shiny. So I did a couple of those. Um, but, I'm not going to post the techniques for these because, for these two specifically, because they were based on a class that I took. And I'm finding that I may be in trouble with some uh, online classes if I keep posting content or, you know, similar things from classes that I've taken. I don't want to get in trouble. So, I'm going to keep it to things that I've designed and that I haven't uh, gotten the ideas based on a class. So, um, that being said, I am going to probably do, let's see, I'm working on a couple things. I have this little martini glass, and I think I'm going to do that in this on this one. These are just your regular old Altoid tins that you get your Altoids in. Now these are tins that I ordered at, I want to say it's Bottle Cap, the Bottle Cap Company. I'll put the description in the, I mean, I'll put the link in the description box, but I think it's called the Bottle Cap Company. And they have these tins, and I've gotten the ones, this one, uh, well now I can't, here it is. They have these as well, I did a tutorial on this little, uh, kind of like a photo album in a tin. Oops, hello. I love this thing. Anywho, um, but it has the clear top too, like a see-through top, but they're tins. And uh, I ordered a bunch of them, so I do have them, but I also have a ton of Altoid tins. Um, I just stocked up because these are super easy to do. So I think today we're going to play with a mold similar to this one. So this, so this could be what I'm talking about. So um, this is kind of more of a moon shape face, these three guys. And then I just used swirls and little other gems to create this style of a pattern. We're gonna do something similar, you know, not exactly that on this one because I have, I got, here's a good way to embellish too. So you see on, on all of these, I've put little pieces, like this one has a gem. Well, I call it a gem. It's one of those uh, marble, marble things that you put in the bottom of a planter. A little fish, a shell, and then there's two mirrors in here that I kind of created the wave with. So you can add anything that's glass or metal can go in the oven when you bake your clay. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, I usually try to get 
uh, either Swarovski or definitely make sure that they're glass crystals because just in case if you put them in the oven they could melt or distort so you want to make sure it's glass if you can um, but all metal charms like look see I have this big dragon and I've been dying to use them for something and then I I have all these beat alongs these are usually buy one get one I'll get them when they're buy one get one I've had a lot of these in my stash forever. These are charm alongs too that have breathe, reflect. This was like beach words. Uh, this is a bee landing set just under the sea creatures because I was running out of sea creatures after I did these. I didn't have any more. So this was a cool one. This one has like a manatee and I love the octopus. So I'll probably put these in one. But then these were cool. I just got these yesterday. This is all about crafting. It has a palette. What is this? A ball of yarn and, and um, knitting needles. I guess it's just a spool of thread, a glue gun, eye heart crafting, and a scissors. So I definitely thought I would use these two. Probably eye heart crafting and this, I hopefully the gems. And you know, if you're not sure, pop out the, the piece put it in the clay where you want it and then before you bake pop it out bake it and then you can glue it back in after you don't have to bake it a lot of times so I also had these in my stash I thought this because I have a lot of the boho theme is really big right now so I have some Buddha stuff and all that type of stuff I don't know if this goes along with it but I love these oriental coin looking things um, and then here's the the martini glasses these were by momenta and michael's used to sell these see these were on clearance when i got them 79 cents but i wish michael still sold momenta had some really cool metal pieces um so anyway i've just pulled so look at these these are all fairy tale stuff so this is a, a pumpkin like a pumpkin coach a crown a frog and a shoe so this must be Cinderella so that's what I took this castle from that set and I would I think I'm thinking <coughs> excuse me it is so pollen <coughs> excuse me and I take Zyrtec and I'm usually good but boy it's just blowing around like I'm trying to stay out of I've been outside all week and had to keep it inside today anyway so now I'm going to be a little sniffy. Oh boy. But I had this dragon and I think I want to put this castle, can you see that, up on a hill. And I'm thinking I'll create the hill out of these mirrors. So maybe I'll work on this one today. It's such a toss up of what I want to work on because I have a lot of ideas. And then lastly I have this, oh, these wings, which these were a set. I had there were two sets of wings, and I think they were um, one of these sets. Charm alongs, I think. I've taken them off the packaging. And I have this mold. So again, similar to this, instead of doing the moon shape, I think I'm going to do, like I might have even, I thought I had it done. But I think I want to change the color. I was going to do it in silver, which I loved, but like for an angel, I think I'm going to do like this face and we'll see, we'll see what I decide. So I'm going to go away, clear all this off my desk, but see I have these wings. So I could put a little face here and the wings and kind of make this one really, so I have so many things going on, but I think I want to work on my dragon. I think I'm going to do this one and I can use the tech a technique that uh, I did learn from Chris Capono to cover this hill I don't know if it would look appropriate you could put flowers OMG I think I did I could put little flowers along the hill so I might make this the ground and like the castle is up on the hill so that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do today. Then maybe maybe all week I'll come back and I'll keep doing. And then I have words. Um, I was going to put like joy and or love on the angel. Um, all right, you guys. So I'll be back with my, my desk ready to go. 
All right, so that was probably one way to go, but this is what I've decided to do. I took the, I rolled them up again into sausages, and I'm gonna roll them into one type of sausage, and then I'm gonna twist them just once, like twist, so that all the colors are mixed. And then, I think I'm even going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to put them next to each other, and then I'm going to put them through the pasta machine. Because look, at least it's what I kind of wanted to happen. So now we'll see what I get when I put this through the pasta machine. So I'm putting it to, oops, <laughs> together like this. And then I'm going to start putting it through the pasta machine. And I only need it to be this wide, so I think we're going to be, I think this is going to work better than, I'm not going to over blend it. Although it is me, and I tend to, oops, over blend things. But I'm going to try it. So let's see. I could even cut this in half and do it one more time. Because if I, you know what I want to do? I'm going to put it through the pasta machine this way. So I'm going to cut it so that it fits. And I'm going to roll this through my pasta machine like this. And this is going to be my what I put on top. And I, I'm on a pretty thick setting first. And I'm just going to slowly get it thinner and thinner. So I, every time I put it through I'm going down a notch. That's good. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing so I just keep plugging along guys. This isn't my specialty but uh, that's why I tried to find it on Gales. I'm going to put it in the other way this time. So I'm just turning it like this way and this way to try and get it stretched out into a decent size. Well, I love the colors. I like this side better with this swirl of purple through it. I'm going to go through again because I want it thinner. I think I'm going to cut it because I want to go this way. I'm going thinner. I go down to about, this is like, this is the thinnest right now. It's about to be. And I'm going to put, I want to try and save half of this to go on the bottom. That's why I wanted it bigger. So, I mean, it's not perfect. But I like it. I think I'm going to use this for the top, this part. So all I do is, I don't use glue at all. Oh, this is going to be what I want to show, so I'm going to turn it over. Um, I don't use glue. You can use liquid Sculpey, or I've just used plain old Scott, Scotch white glue. But I'm going to attempt to make enough to save for the other, for the bottom. And I'll bake this later. I'll use this for the bottom. But I'm not going to do the bottom right now. I'm just going to do the top. So I'm going to pick this up. And, you know, it is what it is. There's purple. It's kind of, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to fuss over it. This probably won't even show because by the time I... Let me see if I like the other side better. I do. I'm going to use this side. I don't know. I just, it didn't turn out. I should have probably, let me see the other piece if I like this. And actually, it's going to get so covered up, we might not even see any of it. This kind of looks cool, but I lost all the purple. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted it more um, 
smaller pieces. So let me, I'm gonna just take this scrap and put it through the pasta machine and see what I get. I don't know what I'm gonna get, let's see. It might be cool. Oh yes, it is cool. <laughs> Look, I really like this better. So I think I'm gonna use a piece of this and I put another piece of scrap that even added that, but I think I'm gonna use like right here for the top. I absolutely am. I'll save these pieces and I'll use them for the bottom or something, but this is so perfect. Perfect, I love it. I think I'm gonna use right there. And that should be fine. It has enough clay to fit the whole thing. So let me just cut this off. So guys, I don't know what I'm doing, but really you could just roll out a piece of blue and make sky with it. And then you can actually add mica powders and all types of stuff to give you different color variations and shiny bits. But I just, I know that's a technique and I just wanted to try it again. So this is actually on my thinnest setting and I'm pushing air bubbles out and just gonna get that to adhere down to this tin can. Tin, tin, it's a tin. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to Cut off some scrap. This is a little fiddly, you know, I just want you to know that I'm not perfect at all. And when I do this, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Be gentle because if I press too hard, I'm going to dent the clay. But I really love this. That's exactly what I wanted. OMG, look at that. I don't know what to do. I don't want to cover that up. So cute. All right, so basically, I am going to... I like it when... Let me show you. Where's my... Oh, I just covered it. I covered it. I have to put this over here. I like to bring the clay right to this to, to butt up against that little piece of silver. I guess you could cover it, but I don't mind that showing. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. Just get this. And also, I like to make a little notch where my hinges go. So it, it opens and closes nicely. So I'm going to make a little notch where the hinges go. And just gently go around, press down, and I put my X-Acto blade right inside that lip and cut the clay. And until we bake this, you have time to fix and fiddle and fudge with it as much as you want. Get your fingerprints out, but once you bake it, you can't. So Make sure you're all set before you bake. All right, so I'm gonna go around this whole thing and get it nice and I'll be back. All right, I decided to put this little piece and I pulled a hole in it so I just patched it, but I like it. Um, but this section up here I left at the top. I don't know, I'm, now I'm thinking I may put the castle on a cloud. It may, I think I'm gonna make this look like a cloud instead of grass and then the dragon I mean I don't know if he looks like he's flying or not but he's just gonna be kinda of centered over here I'm gonna have these two things here my um, I'm gonna get another one of these this one's a little they're just little mirrors that you can get and I forget what department they're in uh, probably and this one's chipped too uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby in the stained glass aisle, I think. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm just going to put them there. All right. These are just little mirrors. And all right, so then this little castle is going to sit on the cloud. You know what I have to do, though? 
These charms have bales on them. I think I've already taken the one off the dragon. And also, before we do anything, we're going to texturize the background a little bit, but I'm going to just get, I have this like cutter, this wire cutter. I'm going to cut off and watch your eyes, close your eyes. But there we go, that's all. I just kind of want to, that's it. I don't need to be perfect, see? Um, I don't know why I'm worrying about that little. It's just another part of the bale that's not part of the house. So I just cut it off more. All right. But that's going to be my castle. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is texturize. I really love, and listen, by the time we've put all the different other texture in the background, you know, this one's an under the sea, but you can still see there's some script writing there. There's some flower and things and everything. But I made most of those texture marks with my stylus or, you know. So I have this one, which I really love. And it's kind of florally and magical to me. It's called Tooled Leather, and I think it's by Lisa Pavelka. I'm not positive. Um, this is just words. I have tons of these things. This is sand waves let's say yeah waves and this is just dots which I love dots too but you can use just random stamps like you could put like I think I need to put some hearts yeah I think we're gonna do random stamps some music um let's see uh creativity that's kind of cool but look I'm just this really isn't a big deal. Oh, I love these swirls. So this is what I'm going to go with. Swirls, script, and hearts. And we're just going to... Well, I have this... I love this too, the um, music notes. But it's kind of... This is a hard one. And I like to use these so you can kind of just put them randomly. And like I said, this could get covered. You may not see any of it. The script I love. I love the script and the hearts obviously are just awesome. And when I antique it, the idea is that these shapes will come to light then. You'll see them because the paint goes into the nooks and crannies. Uh, And I want to do the edges a little bit. So let's put some script along this edge a little. See if I can get a heart. Now this may all get pushed out by the time I'm done because I'm so rough and I will handle this a lot. So again, this isn't part of your design. This is all background, just like when you're doing a mixed media piece. Um, it may... It may come through as a happy accident. So, you know, that's that's the thing. You just don't get don't invest too much in this. I'm gonna put a couple of hearts right there. Alright, I'm done. Put those away. Now, I wanna start by I could put some mica powders on, but I because I haven't been using mica powders and I just don't want to forget about them because they're awesome. But the first thing I want to do is position my cloud, so to speak. And because my dragon is so big, I'll zoom in a little too. So you can see that texture. But see, when I zoom in, I go out of the shot. So don't get mad at me. I'm going to try and remember that, you know, to stay in the shot. He's so big, though. I think I just want to center him or maybe have him at a, a little slant like he is flying. Um, but these little cloud marks, this is going to be a cloud. So I think maybe he'll be up higher. And I'm going to put some white clay, or I'm going to use maybe, yeah, I think I might try and find some white pearl or something like that. Oh, I have this cool clay. Uh, I haven't used it in forever, and I forget the name of it. Opal. I think I'm going to use this. Now this has little pieces of mica flakes in it 
and it may be a little harder to work with that's the only problem but I think I want to use this for my cloud I also have a glow-in-the-dark clay so you can just go crazy with there's so many options so just have fun and do but I'm gonna have to um, I think I'm gonna condition this and come back but I mean there's white pearl white pearl I'm gonna condition this and a piece of white pearl so that I can play with it um, and I'm gonna cover this area with that um, I may put a few gems in there too because I have where did I put them here I'm gonna see if I have some white gems these are colors but I'm pretty yep here's some white a B I'm gonna probably put these in the clouds and huh I may just put a couple of other colors up in the sky kind of like stars I had like oh here's little tiny ones I think I'm gonna use them uh, what else I was thinking to put see before I decided to make it a cloud I was gonna use green so that's an option too and have the castle sitting on a little hill and I might do that hold on <laughs> Um, and then I could put flowers, like my applique flowers that I like to do, like this. I also had words that I set aside. Um, where did I put them? I have these um, stamps as well that you could always stamp a word in there, believe or, you know, hope. Anywho, I have a hope charm I have joy and love but I'm pretty sure I have hope so I'm gonna one more time I'm gonna go away I'm gonna condition some clay meaning just get it warm and pliable and see if I'm gonna use green or white which I think I'm going with the cloud I'm gonna go with the cloud all right so I'll be back when that's all um, conditioned and ready to go okay I've got this conditioned and ready to go and this pearl is so gorgeous see that pearl is pearlization the pearlizedness <laughs> this is uh the what was this called opal this is called opal and you can see those little mica flakes in it and it's still it's got a little pearlized effect to it i think i'm going with the pearl just that's just my choice today um so for this the first thing we have to do though is get these little mirrors into the piece so I'm gonna I'm thinking of putting a little cloud area up here too so that's why I don't want to push him in yet but we're gonna put these two pieces kind of butt up against each other right there um, so I'm gonna push down a little just use my exacto blade and cut around these mirrors 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 and take out that clay put it right on top of the lid and I you know what we're gonna cover this so it doesn't even need to be glued because I'm gonna cover it with clay and it's gonna it'll use it'll the clay will hold it in place I'm going to push the clay up against the sides. All right, and then I'm going to leave that off. Now we can put our cloud on. And I think I'd like to, I don't need this big of a piece.
I think I'm gonna I, I think I'm gonna come down and overlap I'm debating you know what let me put this through the pasta machine again it's a little uh, it had like um, sometimes when the clay is really sticky it gets it's not smooth when it comes out of the pasta machine I can't explain it like see this has little bumps and air holes see this it's like a a blemish I just want to try and get that this is really sticky though so I may not be able to I'm no expert listen I just know that I I like it anyway and by the time we've texturized it and everything maybe I'll go yeah it really doesn't matter that's the thing um, I'm gonna cut try and get a cloud shape like that can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, good. I mean, it's white, so you can't really see it. And hopefully place that over those. See, this didn't go to the edge. Told you I'm no expert. All right, this will be better because I can go this way. All right, I'm just going to hold this in front of and I know it's on white so it's hard to see but I'll put this down and use this as my guide I want to make sure that I have enough clay to go over the edge then take my exacto blade something like that and see if I managed I still didn't do it look I can fill it in but I like the shape of that cloud so I'm going to gently press there's an air bubble um, and I can fill in I don't know if I yeah I do I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all the way over the edge Isn't that clay gorgeous though? That pearl? Ugh, so pretty. Whoops, stab the blue over here. But I have to patch that, so I'm just going to put a piece of clay. so easy to work with this medium it's just well this is very sticky so it's sticking right in place and you just press it and it will adhere well actually I'm just gonna use it all I was going to try and piece it in there, but the corner is a bit thicker anyway, so just try and blur that line with your finger. And I touch so rough, nothing I do is gentle. This is really sticky though. This is way stickier than the blue was. But we got it on there. Now the next thing I want to do, I want to give that some texture too. But the first thing, now here's the one tricky part because I have a specific tool that I'm going to use. These are called perlers or something like that. They're by Sculpey. I'm pretty sure I got these when I took Polymer Clay Adventure because one of the artists 
<sighs> she uses these all the time, but it has this little round end and then just a pokey end. But I'm going to make, I'm going to use that to make circles on top of the mirror and just in the cloud as well. A couple, just a couple. This is the biggest one. I'm going to take that out of there and then you're going to get the mirror showing through. This one doesn't have mirror under it and that one doesn't so let me go to the medium size. I don't think I can fit a medium over there. And then this is the smallest. Try to put another small one over there. I think I can fit another medium over here. And then I'll fill this with smalls. The idea is I want to let the mirror show through. Kind of looks like a, a it's a lot like the, um, oops, the uh, under, it's kind of like um, a reef or a moon or something. But I like the, the effect it gives. So I'm going to put a medium there. And we need some smalls over here. These aren't going to be, I'm not going to let, the, I could let the blue show through. But the idea is to let the mirror show through. Just take these out. I told you this clay is so sticky. Sometimes, I mean, if it's a little bit firmer, these things would just pop right out, but it's so, it's holding on. So I really have to cut it with this. And then it messes up the shape a little bit. But you can always readjust until you bake it. All right, so that looks pretty cool. It's a little different than I thought, but once we texturize it, it'll be good. And I should do some around the sides too to, ke to keep it in the design. Maybe just a few. Now I can put, we're not done with that yet, this castle on the cloud. I'm going to push it down and probably bake it like this. And then when I, when I'm when after it's baked, I'll pop it off because there's nothing really to adhere it. Um, and then I'll glue it in. So I can just see clay. And then he, but see, I kind of wanted to put a little cloud in the sky over here. Just something peeking over from the back. And this is all just as I go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, see, I didn't really want to cover that up. But maybe just a little piece coming from here or even from here. So I'm just going to make the shape with my X-Acto blade, 
kind of a cloudy shape. It doesn't look cloudy though, it looks like a blob. I don't, I don't know. It needs to be a little smaller or something. That's a little jagged now, but clouds aren't shaped like that. I don't know what clouds are shaped like. <laughs> I'm not an astronomer. All right, so am I in the shot now? And plus it's white. But anyway, this is what I want to show you too. I have these um, these ball tools. These are by Sculpey. Well, I have this tiny stylus one, this one. But I use my all my styluses. I have several sizes. But this big one, I'm just going to take and push it into these big circles. And it kind of makes like a a pod and I can even fill that with something and I was thinking I was going to put some gems remember but I like that gotta do it with the medium I think it looks so cool I like it Kiwi's with me. Hi, Kay. Are you having fun watching me? See, I could put gems in here. So, we're not done. I can, you can always... I don't know if I love it, but... I like the idea of the mirror showing through, but it kind of looks like, I don't mind it. It's okay. All right. We're also going to take um, a pokey tool. I have a really, this one came with the, um, the Sculpey Tools set. And I'm going to poke, hmm, do I want to do this? I don't think I'm going to do it. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to think about it first. Um, do I want to put a cloud? That's what I have to decide. Um, up here. like I think, but, I, but there's so much pretty purple and stuff going on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do circles. I'm going to do... Take that big, the big, the biggest stylus. Yeah, I think I'm going to push him in right about there. Or I could put him straight. Kind of like I'm tilted. And this is going to get glued in, I'm pretty sure. There's not enough clay. I didn't make this clay thick enough to hold on to him. After it's baked, I'll pop him out and I'll glue him in. Um, but I definitely need some little, something sparkling in the sky. So, let's see. Oh, there's a cover. There we go. At least two big ones, maybe. I think it needs to be 
one there for sure. So I think I'm going to actually cut deeper into this to make it a hole because it fits perfectly. And just dig out what I can. here too. And the clay should hold those in, but I'm not positive. Uh, kind of want to put a cloud. big. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do another littler cloud though. I'm gonna do it with a flat bottom and like three it doesn't really look cloudy but And I think I'm going to make one coming from the side. Over here. My fingers are so sticky. This is, I'm trying to, you know what I have, I don't want to close it all the way, but I have to, I can't really see what I'm doing. I'd like it to be flat on the bottom. There we go. I think I'm going to put a gem in can't really oh okay I couldn't figure out how he was there's his mouth He was like that, I'm pretty sure. I 
Yeah, I like that much better. You have to, I had to add the white. And now I can add a gem and a gem. Let's see. Hopefully, yep, right here. And right here. Just barely, but I really want to bring those into the design too. No, I don't know her now. So that's why when you're creating, it's really good to have these types of things on hand to just be able to play with and see what you like and don't like. Um, you don't have to use it, but it's good to have it in case you do want to use it and save it for next time. And then you'll use it again, you know, next time. So, um... Having these gems, I try and whenever things are on clearance, I go have a look and see and think, could I, would I ever add that into my clay designs or, you know, any type, you know, mixed media, whatever it is. But I don't buy everything. I have a lot. I have a lot. I did that for so long. I was just buying so much stuff. I have a lot. So I am able to use what I have and use what's in my stash but for the most part it was based on this this idea that what you know when I start creating I want to have and be able to just sit here and pull things and then use it or don't use it you know so that's kinda where I'm at today you know I'm able to do that so it's awesome um, I love how he's sitting like that Oops, but see, look what happened here. I kind of made a dent in my um, cloud. This, this, um, you know what I might use then? This uh, pearl clay is so soft, but I'm going to use this to kind of texturize. I like it flat, but you know what? I was going to do... A different technique and I don't love that this the castle doesn't have any cloud behind it here I kind of want to add a little bit there but there's also this um, the shape of the mirror behind it is really showing so I'm kind of just pushing making little swirls with this and just Making it look fluffy, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I watch uh, the YouTube videos of players who use these tools like, like magic. They really know how to get them to do things, and I don't. I don't know. I just play and try and see what happens and I usually get a pretty good result but now this you see how I've squished or when I've opened and closed the lid the clay has come down a little so before you bake just make sure you look at these things and fix it if you can you know because I like it to look nice when I when it after it's baked I don't want to regret oh man I didn't check you know So that looks cool. That's it, guys. I mean, I'm not sure what else I want to add. Uh, trying to round them out a little more, too. Um, maybe a few of these little gems in the sky like stars because I have, this was a, a cane that I attempted to do, um, and I had a little bit left, and I just covered a small Altoid tin with it, and just decided to put red and yellow gems in it, you know, and a few white, so this is really a basic, simple 
Um, but I had that cane and I just wanted to cover something with it. Um, so I'm just going to take these little gems. And you guys have reminded me about the old pencil technique. Because I, I'm, I'm fumble fingers, but I have some nice pencil erasers that I can push these in. Now let me think. Yeah, I just want them randomly placed. Before I push them in, I'll just place a few and see what I think. And make a starry sky. This is such sticky clay. They want to stick. Hey, listen, look at them all. I have tons. Why not put them on here? <laughs> I love bling, so. That might be too many. I don't know. Too many, you say? That's unheard of. Um, maybe one or two in the cloud. Like right here. And... I think that might be it. Let me have a look. Maybe one more up here. Just to fill it in. Yeah, the eraser is a great tool for pushing gems into the clay. So you just take, and this is fairly flat. I have an even flatter one, this. And I'm just going to use that to give pressure. And like I said, this clay isn't very thick, but these little gems are going to go right into that. And the clay will hug it in there. And it doesn't even make a mark, so this is wonderful. Did I get them all? I don't know guys, but I think that might be done. Now when I do the bottom, I'm going to bake this. And I, I wish I would have put a little more clay and maybe I can fill it in. What could I put there? <sighs> Just a piece of clay, I guess. i got to run it through the pasta machine. Just to get the same thickness. And then I can cut a piece maybe that I can put there with my exacto blade. I gotta put them back. But yeah, I, I don't think this needs much more. I think it's super cute. I really do. I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to probably glue these. Because what else would be up in the sky? planets <laughs> um, but I think I want to just see if I can take huh Hey Kiwi, you have to go potty? Here, come here. 
she tells me sometimes when she has to go potty and then I can just let her not poop on me. My little sun cheek, uh, green cheek conure. So I think I'm going to do this. You can kind of see that line. So you know what I'll do? I'll put a small circle right there. 